Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 7 January 2021. Coming to you tonight from the bunker at headquarters of the Apostle Pete Knife Service. Keeping my head down and working on living a normal life in these trying times. I hope you are as well. I hope all of you made it through the holidays with many family blessings and uh, not too overweight and with some money left in your pockets. We are having a knife sale tonight. Yes, we are. Regularly scheduled Thursday night variety after the semi-altered holiday schedule. We are back on schedule this week. We have 32 items for your consideration tonight. All of them knives with a little bit of a kicker on one item. And it's the good stuff, my friends. Lots of modern folders, lots of traditional pocket knives, a few classic fixed blades. What could be better? In an ever-changing universe, we have the one constant of the Thursday night knife sale that gives us all a little bit of comfort as we exercise our hobby slash addiction. Before we get into this one, a little bit of housekeeping. If you are new to this weekly sales event, please be familiar with and agreeable to the terms of the sale. I will post them on the screen for you. I will also reprint them in the description underneath this video. Also in the description above the terms, you're going to see three links to prior videos on this channel. The first one is to my Primer for Buyers video. That is a 38-minute explanation of the terms of the sale, so you might want to watch that if you're a noob. Second is my FAQs for consigners video. That will give you the whys and wherefores and how it works. From the consigners perspective, if you're looking at selling some of your knives on this weekly sales event. And then the third link, as always, is to the rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service. The original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. Below all that, below the three links, below the terms of the sale, you're going to find the list of tonight's inventory, complete with timestamps and pricing. In the pricing column, the number to the left of the slash is your as shown price. The number to the right is that same knife with a fresh edge from the Apostle P Knife Service. If you see a dash in lieu of that second price, that means the knife you're looking at already has my edge on it. No need to sharpen. And then if you see the word sold in lieu of pricing, that knife has a new owner. It is bought, paid for, and on its way. No need to send an inquiry about that one. I think that's about it. There will be next day sharpening today for or tomorrow for the first six knives purchased to be sharpened this evening. So we are back on the next day sharpening schedule as well. That is definitely it. I'm going to get the terms up on the screen for you and we'll be right back with the inventory. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? First up, we're going to start with a little run of arachnids. First up in my favorite knife box ever comes the Spyderco Native 5 Plain Edge in CPM Rex 45 Steel. That's going to be a G10 Native 5 fully stainless steel lined lockback mechanism with the bushing pivot. Wearing that beautiful burnt orange set of G10 scales, the polished hourglass clip. The Native 5 blade with that beautiful swedge and the yes, CPM Rex 45 blade steel. Mm -hmm. K2 
condition on this one is going to be like new in the box. Action nice and free. Blade centering running right down the middle. Lockup is rock solid. A beautiful example of the Native 5. Kind of a hard knife to find. This Sprint Run out of stock at your favorite web retailer, whichever one that may be. And kind of rare. I could not find one single completed listing on eBay for this knife. There are some currently listed between $220 and $249. This one, not going to be that expensive. This one can be yours, my friends, for $150, $150, 175 with an Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight. That's in your inventory is Spyderco Native 5 BOR. Rex 45. Next up, another Spidey. This one would be a Stretch 2 in brown G10 with the ZDP 189 blade. This will be a G10 Stretch 2 wearing that beautiful brown G10, a fully lined Seki City midlock lockback with the boy dent. There is that ZDP blade, and this one's wearing an edge from the Apostle P Knife Service. Don't think it's been used much, if at all, since I sharpened it. Blade centering on the stretch is going to be close. I see it a little to the left as you're looking at it. Lockup is rock solid. Action. Uh... <clears throat> a little tight. Since there's no side play, you could probably play with that pivot just a little bit. Comes with a Casey Lynch black titanium deep carry pocket clip custom lanyard. And no factory clip in this box. We're going to call this one near mint in box. It is uh, a sprint run knife. No uh, dealer exclusive that I could find. Uh, they are not in stock new. I did find one completed listing on eBay for this knife at 152. That was a bone stock knife. So it did not have the Casey Lynch clip, didn't have the lanyard, and of course it did not have that edge on it. This particular one, a beautiful example with an Apostle P edge and a righteous titanium clip. Can be yours for 160, 160. No need to sharpen. That's in your inventory. Is Spider Co. Stretch 2 ZDP TAP. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Next up. Okay, we have two very similar knives coming up. Be sure in your I'll take it email that you reference the right one. This is going to be in your inventory as Spider Co. Para 2. Tan 20 CV. Okay, so it's a paramilitary 2 DLT exclusive with the Desert Tan G10 scales. This is so new, nobody's even moved the clip yet. Okay, this is a bone stock, like new in the box, factory edge, non accessorized DLT para 2 and 20 CV. Action is stupendous. Lockup is rock solid. Blade centering on this one is perfect, at least to my eye. This is a DLT exclusive sprint. They are out of stock. I found some that have sold recently in the eBay completed listing section for between $193 and $255. This one can be yours. A perfect like new in box example, $180. And then $205 if you'd like it with my edge on it. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six. Again, in your inventory is Spider Coat Para 2 Tan 20 CV. Next up. Same box, same knife. 
another paramilitary two, Desert Tan G10, 20 CV, DLT exclusive. However, this one's a little different. It's got a custom lanyard. It is wearing a titanium Casey Lynch deep carry clip. Original clip will be in the box. It is also wearing an edge from the Apostle P knife service already. And it's a laser, my friends. Lock up, rock solid. Free swing in action. Centering on this one is perfect. So another perfect example, same DLT sprint, same color, same blade steel, but this one you have a custom lanyard, deep carry titanium clip, and an Apostle P edge. So the bone stock one we just, just had on screen was 180, this one 200. And this is in your inventory as Spider Copera 2 Tan 20 CV TAP, which stands for the Apostle P Edge. Okay. One, or I'm sorry, 200, no need to sharpen on Spider Copera 2 Tan 20 CV TAP. Next up, oh. same Spider Co box. Same Spyderco model. This is a paramilitary too, but this is in CTS 204P. A Knifeworks exclusive wearing forest green G10 scales. This one's sporting a black coated titanium Casey Lynch deep carry pocket clip and a custom orange and green lanyard. Action, nice and free, lock up, beautiful, blade centering on this one, to my eye, is perfect. Condition will be near mint in box only because of the clip change and you do get the factory DLC coated black clip in the box. Another perfect example. This one's going to be in your inventory as Spider Copera 2 GN for green 204P. <clears throat> Price on this one 200 like it is, 225 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. That's Spider Copera 2 GN 204P. Next up, I can't believe how hot these little guys are. Another Spidey. This one is going to be a Para 3. In burnt orange G10 with an orange and green lanyard. Factory hourglass clip. A blade of CPM Rex 45. And an Apostle P Edge already applied. And that thing is... Sticky sharp. I mean, sticky sharp. Free drop in action. Rock solid lockup. And centering is perfect. So we'll call it near mint in box only because of that way better than factory edge. This one's in your inventory as Spyderco Para 3 BOR for Burnt Orange, Rex 45, TAP. And guys, these are all over the place. Completed listings on eBay for this Spyderco Sprint Run. Knives sold between what, 183 and 300, most of them up in the mid 200s. This can be yours with my edge already applied. $200. Again, Spyderco Pair 3 BOR Rex 45 TAP. Next up, another Spidey. Another one from Golden. Another paramilitary. Oh, they've, look at that. It doesn't say Para 3, it says Paramilitary 3. I don't know if I've ever seen that. 
Huh. Check that out. This is the... Oh, Sportsman's Supply, which is a distributor, dealer-exclusive Sprint, in brown G10, black clip, DLC blade, in S35VN. Now, this knife would be like new in box. It is like new in box. The clip has been moved. Action, almost dead dropping. Lock up rock solid. You could probably play with that pivot if you want it to swing like it's on ball bearings. Blade centering on this one is perfect. No issues, guys. So the Sportsman Supply exclusive pair of three, brown and S35. <clears throat> is out of stock at the retailers. Completed listings on eBay running between 228 and 230. I think there were just two knives recorded. This one can be yours though for 180, 180. And then 200 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge, which can be done tomorrow, next day, if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. Again, in your inventory is Spyderco Para 3 BRN S35. Next up, another Spider Co. This one's going to be a Manix 2 lightweight with orange FRN scales and an S90V blade in black DLC. It's sort of a Halloween knife, wouldn't you say? Uh -huh. So black blade, black lock actuating cage, black PVD coated paper clip clip and a DLC blade in S90V. This knife absolutely like new in the box. Factory edge quite sharp. Nice action. Rock solid lockup. And right down the middle blade centering. This is going to be in your inventory as Spyderco Manix Two LW for lightweight OR S90V. Uh -huh. This is a cutlery shop exclusive sprint run out of stock. Your price 175, 175 like it is. 200 if you'd like it to come with a fresh Apostle P edge which can be done next day, tomorrow, Friday, if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. Again, that's in your inventory of Spyderco Manix 2LW OR S90V. Next up, it is another Spidey. It is another Manix. This would be the full boat Manix with stainless steel liners and G10 scales in brown with a black M390 blade. Here is the knife. This is another Sportsman Supply dealer exclusive Sprint Run. They like that brown G10 with the black blade and hardware. Now this one's got the factory clip installed, but in the box is going to come a slightly skinned up titanium Casey Lynch deep carry clip. Comes with it. Lock up, rock solid, action, that's a free swinger. And centering, we'll call it perfect. Absolutely like new in the box. Out of stock at your web retailers. Completed sold knives on eBay running between 160 and 250. Most of them well over 200 bucks. Your price on this one, $195 like it is with that extra Casey Lynch clip. $220 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's in your inventory is Spider Co. Manix 2 BRN M390. Next up, here's a pretty cool knife, I think. 
What we have here, my friends, is a Benchmade 537GY bailout. But wait, let's just read this little note that comes in the box. Rick, thanks for buying one of the modified bailouts. These were done freehand by me. If you're not satisfied with it for any reason, please let me know. We truly appreciate your business and hope you think of us for your next knife purchase. Mike Kent, owner, REC, a.k.a. River's Edge Cutlery. Check this, my friends. Yeah, it looks like a normal black-handled 3V bailout, except it's not a Tonto. That Tonto has been transformed into a rather gorgeous swedged drop point. Uh-huh. So it's going to be a little more robust through the belly and the tip than the Tonto is. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got that gray coating. I'm not sure if these were Cerakote or if they're that chromium nitride. I think they're Cerakote. You got your shorty Parkerized clip. Not quite a free dropper, but still eminently flickable in both directions. Rock solid lockout. And I think the centering is very close to perfect, if not perfect on this one. So condition is like new as modified by River's Edge. Okay. And I don't, I didn't go to River's Edge's website to see what they're selling these modded ones for, even if they have any available. The stock ones are 157 map pricing from your favorite web retailer. Don't know how much the regrinds are new. This one can be yours though. <clears throat> like new as modded, 140, like it is, 160 with an Apostle P edge. That is the Benchmade 537 GY bailout custom. Next up, I teased you yesterday. I think I told you there might be a hinderer in tonight's sale. And there is. This is an XM18 3-inch Sponto in battle black with copper hardware and a black G10 scale. What a sweet little knife. Look at that. There's your black G10. There's your copper hardware wearing a black and orange paracord lanyard with a knurled titanium bead. <clears throat> Battle black finish. Flipping action, pretty good for nylon washers. And it's wearing an Apostle P edge. Let's see, still plenty sharp. No, no need to do any work on that. Lock up, it's a hinderer. What do you think? Rock solid? Yes. Centering is very close to perfect. Uh, your eye might see that just a hair to the left, but not much. Condition going to be near mint in box. Apostle P Edge noted. Your price on this, guys, is going to be $300. No need to sharpen. That's in your inventory as hinderer. XM18 3 inch Sponto TAP. That might be the buy of the sale. Next up. Oh, we had a Strider last week, but sort of that new mix Strider Strider. This one, a little bit of an older version. We got a baggie and a baggie and an original black G10 scale in there. And then the, something says MXG gear. The original clip is in there too. Hmm, what does that mean? Hmm, hmm. Check this out, guys. Oh, my! A beautifully milled custom black and brown G10 scale. Bronze hardware. 9mm shell casing. Lock bar stabilizer. MXG deep carry black coated titanium clip. Custom paracord lanyard. Nice detent. Beautifully stonewashed blade in CPM freaking 154. And an Apostle P Edge I just about cut myself with right there. Uh -huh. oh, guys, there's your lock engagement. There is no slip, no rock, no play. It's better than that. That's my fault. Almost a free dropper. But the, the lock bar stabilizer is such that that lock bar has got to be really pushed over 
to clear the detent ball. It's it's the action is stunning, guys. Blade centering down the middle. Um, let's see if they don't look. No sharpie and no lock stick. What a nice example of an SMG. Let's see. Your price? No need to sharpen. I already got my edge on it. Three seventy-five. That's in your inventory of Strider SNG TAP. But that doesn't last long. Next up, from Mass Drop Now Drop, we have the Ray Laconico designed Keen folding knife. The Keen is a beauty. Got sort of an acid stone washed greenish bronze anodized titanium handle with those five holes milled in the show side. This one wearing a black and red lanyard, more of a crimson. It is a titanium frame lock steel inserted ball bearing flipper with a gorgeous spear point blade and S35VN. This one is wearing an Apostle P edge already. There's your lock engagement. It is rock solid. Blade centering is down the middle. Flipping action, exactly what you'd expect, which means beautiful. Mm -hmm. Condition on this one, we're going to say is near mint in box. Only not like new because it's got that way better and factory edge on it. Completed listings on eBay for this out of stock drop between 120 and 157. This one can be yours with lanyard and an Apostle P edge, buck and a quarter, 125 bucks on the Mass Drop Laconico Keen TAP. No need to sharpen. Next up, we've had a couple Smith and Sons knives in the sale in recent months, even last week. I tell you what, I didn't know this knife existed. There's your box, and here's the knife. So this will be in your inventory as the Smith and Sons Trapper Liner Lock. Check it out. This is not a traditional slip joint. This is a beautifully blasted and crowned G10 scaled stainless steel liner lock. Gorgeous clip point, kind of a muskrat. Blade steel on this one is D2, which leads me to believe this is probably a Chinese produced knife. The model name is the Cypress, which you'll not see in your description because I didn't see it until after I wrote the copy. Anyway, you have a blade of three and three eighths, a handle of four and three eighths, kind of a classic trapper handle with a little bit of a swell center. Nice engagement on the liner lock. It's definitely on washers. Rock solid lockup. Blade centering favors the lock bar side slightly. Condition on this is like new in the box. You can find these online at your favorite retailer for 119 web pricing or just buy this one. Like new in the box, 80 bucks, shipped to you, priority mail. 100 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. That's in your inventory as Smith & Sons Trapper Liner Lock. <clears throat> Next up, okay, this is the <clears throat> save me from myself moment tonight guys another one from Smith and Sons this is the mud bug we've had a few of these had one last week the twin to this knife oh, guys so this is built on the Great Eastern Cutlery number 21 bull buster platform except it's a lockback so you got your bull buster blade 1095 steel nice drop point Rock solid lockup from GEC on a lockback knife. And centering right down the middle. And look at that dark natural linen micarta, beautifully polished. This one is going to come with that cross draw sheath in leather, and it is signed Smith and Sons, which is pretty cool. And it's I think I put the knife in this for the first time today. So it's very tight still. You'll want to store that like that if you're going to use it just so the knife is extricable when you need it. 
pretty cool little package right there. It is like new in the box. Um, now the one we ran last week, we did at 130 with no sheath. This one we're going to do with 135 like it is, 155 sharpened. And by the way, uh, these have been selling on eBay with no sheath between 142 and 160. This one, 135 shipped priority mail. 155 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available. That's in your inventory as Smith & Sons Mud Bug with Sheath. Mm -hmm. If you guys could see, it's a house of cards around this. I'm always knocking stuff over. <clears throat> Next up, I'm going to butcher the name of this knife maker. We have a traditional slip joint pocket knife from Zolingen, Deutschland. <clears throat> it is the Weidmannschild, Weidmannschild, I don't know, Sporting Knives Sunfish. Check this bad boy. Oh my. Beautifully matched stag covers, nickel silver bolsters, brass liners, beautiful medallion shield. We have a main blade spear point sunfish blade with a match striker long pull and then a match striker forward nail neck, which frankly is a merciful thing. Cam tang knife, beautifully etched blade face on the show side or the mark side. Don't know the steel, some kind of German stainless, I'm sure. Cam tang knife, about an eight, eight and a half pull. Eight and a half, we'll call it. Now, I think I detected. Did I, I'm trying to see if I, I. I detected some very slight blade rub. I think the camera's picking that up. Between the opposite end knives. Okay. Which, that's kind of, it's just going to happen. <laughs> on this style knife. Uh, the closed length of the Fiedmanshile Sunfish is 3 and 15 16, so almost 4 inches. <clears throat> Couldn't find these in stock new anywhere, but I did find some completed listings on eBay between 128 and 208. This one is near mint to like new. It might have just a little bit of storage wear in the bolsters. Your price is going to be 130, 130. And 155 if you'd like me to sharpen both blades. Next day sharpening available if you go that way. That is the Viedmanshile Sunfish. Next up, is anybody ready for some great Eastern cutlery? Mm. It's time. The first of our GEC compliment tonight from the handcrafted Tidu cutlery line of Great Eastern Cutlery. It is a model number 128119 in aqua camel bone. Here you go, boys. The best production toothpick I've ever seen is the GEC number 12. Got the hound's tooth shield, nickel silver bolsters and end caps, beautiful aqua camel bone, and an actual usable toothpick clip in 1095. Now the number 12 is a cam tang knife. This one has really nice walk and talk. And the centering on this is going to be, I'll say excellent, not quite perfect. Condition is going to be like new in the tube. There might be a little bit of storage rubbing going on in the nickel silver, but it's basically like new in the tube. Your price on this one, 110, 110, and then 125 with an Apostle P edge. That's in your inventory is GEC Titty number 12 toothpick. Next up, <clears throat> it's another save me from myself moment. There are a couple of them this week. From Titty Cutlery of GEC, we have a Lyle's Lit Creek Boy, I guess I said that right. Lyle's Lit Creek Boy's Knife. Number 141118 in brown burlap micarta. This being all steel, Lit Creek, 
satin finished bolsters and end caps and the brown burlap single clip so stunning a pretty robust pull for a 14 I'm calling that a 7 and then perfect walk and talk blade running right down the middle we're gonna call this near mint to like new only because these satin bolsters pick up storage wear like in nobody's business okay uh, so your price on this one 150 150 and 165 with an apostle piage that's in your inventory as GEC titty number 14 lick crick <clears throat> next up this yeah this is really truly the save me from myself moment I didn't buy one of these when they came out and I should have. From the farm and field to a line of Great Eastern Cutler, we have a number 350217 calf pen in knife bright acrylic. Glow in the dark knife bright acrylic. I love the calf pen. The main blade, I guess we're calling. Are we calling? Uh, I don't know. Be the main blades that Warncliffe is that zero is the code for Warncliffe? I come on, GEC guys, help me out. I'm having a brain fart. And then you got that one armed drop point, okay? Which the best one arm blade ever put in a knife because unlike a case, that point will actually catch your pants when you open it. Seven and a half pull. Whoops, I forgot about the liner lock. Perfect walk and talk. Beautiful centering. And then you got a little screwdriver on the end. How about that? So, we're calling it like new in the tube. These run between 140 and 179 in eBay completed listings. Can't buy a new one. Your price on this one? What? 135, guys. 135 like it is. 160 with an Apostle P edge on both blades. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's in your inventory as GEC FNF number 35 calf pen. Oh, mm, next up. Another one from Great Eastern Cutlery. Another one from the handcrafted Titty Cutlery product line. Notice the large tube. Yes, it's a number 462218 in desert. Iron wood. It's a whaler. The swell centered elephant toe in desert ironwood with gimp shield. Look at that ironwood. Satin finished hardware. And you will see a little bit of storage rubbing in that satin, as is common when GEC finishes a knife this way. Cut swedge, long pull, main spear, pull weight eight and a half ish. Secondary spear probably has a nine pull. Cam tangs. No rubbing on either blade from that linerless opposite end construction. We'll call this near mint in tube. Rubs in satin noted. Now we ran the twin to this knife last week, sold it for 260. This one 240, 240 like it is 265 if I sharpen both blades next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six to be sharpened in tonight's sale now don't wait on this one guys there will be no price reduction the owner has told me yeah I kind of wish I hadn't sent you both of those so if this one does not sell at 240 it goes home that is the GEC titty number 46 whaler Next up, I did not know how scarce these had gotten. Another one from Great Eastern, Tidiute, handcrafted cutlery. This is a number 93 ram foot in black canvas micarta. GP Knives dealer exclusive, SFO. So that's going to mean black canvas micarta covers 
houndstooth shield, satin hardware, and then is this some kind of like a Minnesota thing? What on earth is that creature etched in the blade? I used to know this, but I forgot and I didn't take the time to look it up. What is that thing? I don't know. Perfect walk and talk. Pull weight seven, maybe seven and a half. Centering's perfect. It's like new in the tube. I mean like new in the tube. Uh, they're out of stock and I found zero, zero, zero listed or completed on eBay. So I think you're getting a bargain here, but I can't tell for sure. 150, 150, like it is. 165 with an Apostle P edge. That's in your inventory as GEC Tidiute, number 93 Ram foot. Next up, and sort of our final GEC in tonight's sale, in the Lone Northfield. Mm -hmm. We got us a number 976119er Allegheny in Gabon Ebony. Comes with button. Want to see the knife? Oh, such a beauty. The long Coke bottle with the cloud shield, plain end caps, double lined, long bolsters, <clears throat> brass liners, and this work of art. Saber ground, long pull and nail neck, cut swedge, clip point, Beautiful walk and talk on this one. Kind of hydraulic. Not overly light. Some of these are overly light. I'm going to call this a strong six, and it kind of depends where you grab it, right? Very nice. Uh, centering very close. Might favor the right side as you're looking at it ever so slightly. No side play. Near mint end tube. Just gorgeous. Now, these knives have picked up a little value. Uh, I did a quick check of completed listings on eBay, and I found them selling between $145 and $164. This one can be yours for $125. $125 like it is. $145 with an Apostle P. Edge. That's in your inventory. as GEC Northfield, number 97, Allegheny. Next up, <clears throat> we got a plastic baggie <clears throat> with a silly coin. The label on the baggie says Northwoods Knives Fayette Jack in red linen micarta. Comes in the small Northwoods slip, and here's the knife. <clears throat> the, Fay the Fayette built on the GEC number 92 Eureka Jack frame. A beautiful, graceful serpentine jack. Northwoods all steel, brightly polished in this case. A stunning Warncliffe blade. Oh, wow. Beautiful walk and talk. About a seven pull, perfectly centered. Condition on this one, like new in baggy. Your price, two nine or five, two ninety five like it is, three ten with an apostle P edge. That's the Northwoods Fayette Jack. Next up, oh, this knife's got a story. At least it does for me. <laughs> Another Northwoods. Label on the baggie says Northwoods Knives Big Bay Red Burlap Micarta. So here's the story. It comes in the, uh, it's like a Main Street with uh, <coughs> grommets, <coughs> pocket slip. This is built on the GEC 78 American Jack frame, but with long bolsters. And last time they ran these, what was it, 18? So, I don't know, 17. Derek Bone was still alive. And I 
was lamenting. I was really wanting to do my second GEC special factory order on an American Jack, but they were running spear points, and I asked Chris Tucker, can you run me some with the clip point blade? Nope, we're just running spear points. Nope, can't do a clip point. I then visited Escanaba, and I was talking to Derek. I'm like, yeah, I was going to do an SFO in the 78, but I didn't want to do a spear point, and Chris told me that they wouldn't do any clips, and he goes, really? Huh, that's interesting. Because I think Northwoods might have a model coming out in a 78 with a clip. And I said, you dog. Well, here it is. So the Big Bay, three and three quarters, closed length. Stunning, bull nosy, clip point with the rustic finish, long pull, deeply stamped Northwoods maker's mark. Pull weight, seven and a half to eight. Perfect walk and talk. Perfect centering. Like new, in the box. Your price, 275 like it is. 290 with an Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That is the Northwoods Big Bay. Next up. Another baggie, another coin, another computer-generated label. Northwoods Knives Bear Lake in Giraffe Bone, number 34. Number 34. Mm -hmm. I got stuff to move around here. Talk amongst yourselves. There's your Main Street pocket slip, and there is your Bear Lake. Oh, my. Kind of interesting, I think, because as with most Northwoods Knives, the construction appears to be all steel, including the bolsters, but they slipped a nickel silver shield in there on them. See the little yellow cast? Uh -huh. This one's got a spear point blade, racking an edge from the Apostle P knife service. Nice and snappy. Seven pull. Perfect walk, perfect talk, perfect centering. Apostle P edge near mint in the box or in baggy. Your price on the Bear Lake and Giraffe, and take a look at that giraffe. Oh my, oh my. Uh, 280, 280, and then 290. Nope, that's already got my edge on it. 280 like it is, no need to sharpen. Northwoods Bear Lake. Next up. It's a black box from Benchmade. This is the Model 407 Valation. Valation. It's almost like they tried to type Valaton, but they, their computer auto-corrected. No, it's the Valation. What is that? What is that? Well, we got us a soldier blade right here, boys. The scales are hard anodized black aluminum. Got a little bit of carry wear right at the nose of the handle. Backed up with thick, parkerized stainless steel liners and what appears to be a steel backspacer that houses a carbide glass breaker. we got a parkerized deep carry clip. And then that beautiful Butch Valaton blade is axis assisted. It is S30V. Three and five eighths inches of blade length with a five and a sixteenth of handle. You do have a safety on the axis assist blade, which will keep it from closing or opening. Action is super fine. Lockup is rock solid. Centering is close, but I believe favors the left ever so slightly. <clears throat> so, these are now out of stock. I have not read that they're discontinued. They might be. But they're out of stock. When they were in stock, the web map price was 188. Your price on this one? Shipped priority mail, 140, 140, and 160 if you like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Benchmade 407 Valation. Next up, a knife I've never seen one of. I have not. So 
Off Grid Knives, I believe, is a knife selling website. They designed this knife for them to sell in their web store. It is produced by We Knives. And it is the Off Grid Scorpion Blackout. Comes with a pretty cool challenge coin. Even as the year 2020. Hmm, we'd all like to forget. Here's the knife. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So it looks like we've got a DLC coated and then a lightly stonewashed titanium frame. Gorgeous carbon fiber inlays. A reversible deep carry pocket clip. Nice sort of jimping around the spine of the handle. Looks like the backspacer is probably, I don't know, is it steel or is it titanium? I'm going to guess by the heft that it might be steel. The blades, look at that thing of beauty. They're calling this a reverse Tonto. Blade Steel is S35VN, and that's also got that sort of stonewashed DLC. They call it Blackout. So it is a titanium frame lock, steel inserted lock face insert. Lock face, lock up is brilliant. Of course, it's a Wii, so it's a ball bearing flipper. Centering's down the middle. Action is great. No death lock, even if you try to open it with your fingers on the lock bar. Flies up. That's that's nice, guys. Wow, nice. Um, like new in box is going to be your condition. Web price, I think, exclusively from Off Grid, is two thirty five. This one can be yours. Shipped by priority mail to Yodo, one ninety five, and then two fifteen if you'd like it to come to you with an Apostle P Edge. That can be done next day, tomorrow, Friday, if it's one of the first six knives purchase to be sharpened this evening. That is in your inventory as the off-grid Scorpion Blackout. Next up, I wish I'd run this before Christmas. You'll see why. Look at that. Look at that. A beautiful tin from Victorinox. Inside the tin comes the money clip with that smooth satin finished a lock set of handle scales we have a main spear point blade we have a fingernail tool old style and we have scissors and a money clip but that's not all along with the money clip knife you get the bright chrome plated Fisher Bullet Space Pad. Uh, near meant to like new in box. There might be a, a scuff in the chrome, maybe. A beautiful little gift set. A money clip Victorinox and a Fisher Space Pen in the tin. Like new in box, your price 50 bucks, 5 0, and 65 if you'd like it to come with an Apostle Piage on it. That's in your inventory as Victorinox, Victorinox gift set with space pen. Next up. From Case Knives. This is interesting. I don't think this was produced in the last couple years. Because I don't think you'd ever see a limited edition, special edition Case Knife that said Peace Pipe on the wooden box. But check it out. Got a little... Oh, it's like a little piece pipe wooden medallion glued into that velveteen lining of the plastic liner. And then you have this. It's like a five inch handled folding hunter similar to a shark tooth or a mako. Right? Press to release. Clip point blade, long pull. Almost, almost dead solid lock. A huh? little bit of vertical play. Blade centering blows, whatever. But condition, other than tarnish, this thing is like new, guys. Don't know when they made them, um, but it's a pretty beautiful little limited edition piece, I think. No labels. So we'll call it near mint in box. 
and it's in your inventory as the case peace pipe folding hunter your price 150 like it is 170 if you'd like me to sharpen it probably wouldn't want to sharpen this one just saying next up oh my looky there boys it's a big old box from Queen Cutlery Company, 507 Chestnut Street, Titusville, PA. Inside that big box comes a fixed blade from Queen. Uh-huh. Now this one's going to be in your inventory as Queen number 4190 SMB Skinner. Look at this. Inside that, by the way, plastic lined leather sheet. We've got this. That is a D2 blade, four inches in blade length, four and three eighths inches of burl wood handle, a nice little finger dance right up there, which you want if you're skinning, I think. Uh-huh. Condition on this will be near mint in box. A little bit of the clear has rubbed off the brass pins and I rubbed off a little green tarnish like you're going to see on the rivets of the sheath in excellent condition by the way I mean it's basically a knife that was bought new and stored and not used at all <clears throat> definitely a piece of history right there your price 50 bucks five zero and then 70 sharpen in your inventory as queen number 4190 SMB I know that because it had a label on the box. This one, however, does not. Another fixed blade from Queen Cutlery Company. We're just calling this the Queen 4-inch Bowie. It comes in that same Queen embossed leather sheath. Nice snap. I'm calling this a 4-inch Bowie. The actual blade length is 3 and 7 eighths. Also in D2 steel. Aluminum guard and pommel. That is bone jigged to look like stag antler. Just gorgeous. And for a small bowie, really nice in hand because of that single quillion guard, right? So you can move your thumb up if you need to. Super nice little tiny hunter. And again, I'm going to call it near mint just because it's been stored. And there might be a little tarnish here or there. Uh, anyway, it's in your inventory as the Queen 4-inch Bowie. Your price, 40 bucks shipped priority mail, 60 with an Apostle P. Edge. And the last, last, last knife, knife, knife in the cell, hell, hell. From 1991. Who can tell? They all pretty much look the same with very subtle differences. We got us a buck 119 special, boys. A little storage wear on the black leather. Uh -huh. Here we go. This knife appears to have been purchased brand new and put away. 420HC steel. The date code. If you look at the model number 119, there is a plus afterward. That means 1991. Should be 420HC steel, phenolic handle, uh, aluminum guard and pommel, and the spacers in the guard and pommel, look closely, are natural micarta. Uh -huh. I don't know if 91 is old enough to be worth anything, but we're going to call it near mint, no box with sheath, apparently an unused knife. Your price, 45 bucks. $45 and then $75 with an Apostle P. Edge. That is the Buck 119 Special 1991. That, my friends, brings us to the end of another knife selling extravaganza on the Apostle P. Channel. Oh, grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Be strong, be secure, rest in the Lord, know that He's in control. That is all for tonight. Talk to you soon. Now commence to clicking.